Oh, quick job. Please be seated. The court is now back in session. I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nunji uh, to uh, resume his examination on the witness in question. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, let me start by uh, with correcting myself, um, Judge Fenz, because um, the excerpt from the DC camp statement that I just read to the witness, um, there's more than that, just that DC camp statement. There is indeed a WRI. Uh, um, this person was uh, questioned uh, by the investigating judge. It is E319. Slash uh, 19.3.18, um, and the relevant pages um, are the questions uh, 48 till uh, 51, and that's English ERN um, 01044804, and the uh, Khmer ERN. Uh, 01003885. No French translation yet. So um, there is indeed a WRI of the previous witness. Um, now, Mr. Witness, I would like to um, confront you with a very brief excerpt from another witness. And I would like again to ask you um, if you know this person. Um, for parties, um, I will be referring to somebody who is actually going to testify. Um, to be precisely, that is T, uh, sorry, 2 TCW 918. Um, and the excerpt that I'm going to read, um, you will be able to find that uh, on English ERN 00728683, Khmer 00734089, and French 01123644. Uh, and again, with your leave, Mr. President, I would like to show uh, the first page of the DC Camp statement of this particular witness and then ask the witness um, to see or to tell us if he, if he knows this particular person. Of course, uh, without him revealing the name of that witness. The President, you may proceed. Le président. Oui, allez-y. Mr. Witness, without uh, telling, without pronouncing his name, do you know this person? Sans prononcer son nom, pouvez-vous simplement nous dire si vous connaissez cette personne? Man. Réponse. Yes, I uh, do. Oui. I got to know him uh, when we were in the mobile Je unit together. Je connu alors que nous étions dans la brigade mobile. This particular witness, uh, as I just said, has also talked to DC Camp, and uh, he uh, told the DC Camp investigator that um, Ta Hung and Ta Val once pointed out to me that all mobile forces, when they went to cut down cotton in Kang Va Mountain, planted cotton farms and he would arm all of them. We would run to Thailand. Does this somehow ring a bell to you, Mr. Witness? Uh, 
vous, vous rappelle quelque Arming chose forces in Kangwa Mountain. Donc, euh, de donner By des armes Tahun des forces, Taval. Enfin, que Taval et Tahun aient donné des armes à des gens dans la montagne de Kravan. Réponse. Well, at that time, I did not know because I was uh, at that time in the mobile unit of the district. I was not yet appointed to the uh, mobile uh, brigade of the uh, sector yet. I'm very well, Mr. Witness. I will move on. Um, but before, I will ask you some questions um, in relation to your position as um, chief of the economic section of Region 5. Um, I would like to ask you a question about um, uh, Im Cham, Ye Cham. Um, what can you tell us about her? Man. Réponse. To my recollection, earlier on she was the uh, chair of uh, Pranit Pre District Committee. Le chef du comité de district de Pre. Um, Question. Do you recall um, what you did um, late 78? Vous vous when the Vietnamese vous faisiez à la fin invaded de the country, quand les um, le pays. did you go along with Ye Chim? Avez-vous accompagné Ye Chim? Ye Chim. Man. Réponse. Before the Vietnamese uh, troops uh, came, I was still in Avant charge of distributing rice. I was within a small uh, unit, uh, but I was uh, still in charge uh, of distributing rice. But did you ever serve as a soldier together with Ye Chan? Réponse. I never worked as the soldier, Je jamais été soldat. but when she came uh, and arrived in uh, Dong Rae uh, Mountain, elle est uh, dans at that time uh, I was uh, armed, uh, une and before that I was not in the army. Mais avant cela, je pas dans <coughs> um, but did you yourself... Late 78 and subsequently serve as a soldier suite, together with Ye Cham. Donc avez-vous été soldat avec uh, Im Cham? Man, are they him? Réponse. No. No. I I never uh, served in the army. Non, je n'ai jamais été dans l'armée. Um, just to see if I um, understand your earlier testimony before this CDCAM correctly, um, I refer you to um, I refer the parties to English ERN 0073-1145, Khmer ERN 0072-8832, and French 0112378. You are talking about um, going to Dung Rip Mountain. Vous parlez d'être allé dans la montagne de Dung Rip. And then a question is being asked to you: Did you serve as a soldier with Ye Cham? Été soldat avec Ye Cham. And then you answer: Yes, of course. Oui, bien sûr. How long did you spend with Ye Cham? Combien de temps avez-vous passé avec Ye Cham? Until the liberation in late 1980. Jusqu'à la libération. Oh no, in late 79. À la fin de in late 1980, it could be December or January. En décembre, en um, uh, further down in that same statement, Et English ERN 0073 1146 and Khmer 0072 8883 and French 0112 3738. 
you testified to DC Chem uh, that you stayed there, that is in Chat Mountain, until 1984 when there was fighting with Vietnam, and that you stayed in Kangak refugee camp until the repatriation in 1992. Is that correct? That's exact. No, it was not at uh, White Chap Mountain. When we fled there, we uh, settled somewhere in Dong Rej Mountain, and then we uh, stayed in the refugee camp. But have you, um, let's say, as of mid-77, um, and then subsequently after 79, been fighting as a soldier against former Northwest Zone forces and later against uh, Vietnamese troops. Before in 1979, I never served in the army. Never did I serve in the army before 1979. Very well. Uh, did you ever learn of armed clashes, uh, fighting war between forces of the Northwest Zone and forces of the Southwest Zone? But at, at Club no, I never heard uh, of it non, je je because there was no um, class uh, at all uh, in the area where I uh, settled at the time. Dans la région où j'étais à l'époque. Are you sure, Mr. Vettel? Question. En êtes-vous bien certain, Monsieur le Témoin? Témoin. Réponse. In my area, there was no um, class at all, but I could not comment on other areas or regions. Fine. Um, let me now move to um, the time that you became the chief of the economic section of Region 5. Um, is it correct that you became chief in December 1977? Était-ce en décembre 1977 que vous avez pris la tête du service économique du secteur 5 Réponse. At that time, I was uh, in charge of distributing uh, rice. À l'époque, j'étais responsable uh, of, de la distribution of course, du uh, I, uh, you could say that I was the chief donc, because I was in charge of le chef, distributing car, rice. Euh, C'est moi qui avais la responsabilité de cette distribution. Um, but is it correct that you were appointed in December 1977? Mais c'est juste dire que vous avez été nommé à ce poste en décembre 1977. Yes, uh, that is correct. Uh, it it was uh, in uh, January uh, 1978, but I cannot recall it very well. Did you also at the time um, take care of uh, the logistics in Region 5? No, I was not. At that time, I was responsible for uh, the mobile uh, brigades. I was in charge of distributing rice only to the mobile brigade. And uh, as for the entire sector, uh, that was a different job and responsible by other people. Um, let me read to you something that you said to DC Chem. 
cité. English era 0073 French era 0 1 and Khmer 0072 You said, and I quote, Well, I became the chief because I transported empty buckets to Tarin. And he asked me about my background. I told him, I do not hold any position. They removed me. I then attended a meeting at the district and they appointed me to take care of logistics in the mobile brigade. That's why I knew the number of the workers, which were about 32,000. Is it is this what you told the DCCAM investigators that you took charge of logistics? Yes. Uh, that is correct because I was appointed to uh, supply uh, rice uh, for the mobile brigades. Poste de distribution de riz aux Is it correct that you Question. were appointed by um, Tavin and Tayon? Vin et Tayon. Uh, oh, sorry, appointed by Tavin and non, that vous you were working on the Tayon's ta supervision. Et que vous étiez sous les ordres de Tayon. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Can you tell us a little bit um, about the storage of rice? Uh, Parlez-nous de l'entreposage du riz. In general terms. Um, de manière générale. Which warehouses were you responsible for? De quels entrepôts aviez-vous la responsabilité? I'm called. Réponse. When the truck uh, transported the rice, I mobilized the force to carry uh, and unload uh, the rice, and we had to store them in the warehouse of the economic office. So at that time, uh, there were uh, several thousand uh, members in the mobile brigade, so we had to keep enough, uh, several thousand bags of rice in the warehouse uh, to sufficiently supply uh, to the mobile brigades. Were you well aware at the time um, where the rice was stored? Uh, I mean, in which warehouses the rice was stored in Sector 5? l'on entreposait le riz dans le secteur 5. Actually, Réponse. we did not uh, keep them in the warehouse. Uh, we actually collected the uh, unhask uh, rice uh, from districts, from cooperatives, and then we sent them to the uh, for milling. And after that, we distributed uh, them back uh, to the mobile unit. Let me ask it differently. Were you well aware of? which rice was where, uh, how much rice was uh, stored in the various districts? Was that um, the core part of your function as chief of the economic section? As for the district uh, warehouse, I did not know. I was only responsible for the uh, sector mobile brigades. As for uh, the district, I uh, did not know. At the uh, uh, sectors uh, warehouse, I kept uh, all the rice uh, in the uh, warehouse attached to the Pentmore construction work site, and that was for the distribution to the mobile brigades. Um, have you ever heard um, about anything about allegations of um, enemies 
des rumeurs within the northwest zone hiding rice il y avait des ennemis dans la zone nord-ouest qui cachaient du rice and hiding rice have you ever heard qui anything about that qui le cachait en avez-vous entendu parler No, I uh, never heard uh, of uh, that kind of case. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de cela. Um, let me read to you an excerpt, Mr. Witness, of a document um, which was uh, admitted a few months before you became um, the chief of the economic section. Um, But nevertheless, you might have heard something about it. Mr. President, E3. Just a correction. The witness has repeatedly said he was chief of logistics for the mobile brigade. Je corriger. Le témoin cesse de répéter qu'il est responsable de la logistique pour les brigades mobiles, alors que le conseil dit qu'il est responsable du secteur économique. Maître Coppe, je pense que c'est ce qu'il a dit lui-même dans sa déclaration sur le secteur économique. Je suis heureux de trouver la référence. Je peux trouver la référence, si vous le souhaitez. English ERN 0073113 Question. Um, just, just to point out, what I read there is that the witness said he was, as counsel read out this morning, he was appointed to take care of logistics in the mobile brigade. So I don't see, I see where the interviewer used the word chief of the economic section, but I don't see that the witness did, but perhaps I'm missing it. I think, I think you are missing it, Mr. Prosecution, because the question is, okay, then you were appointed chief of the economic section in Region 5, and then he answers, that's right. And he explains, so that's in the question, and he explains he was appointed to take care of logistics in the mobile brigade. Let me solve this problem, um, Mr. Witness, by asking you specifically, um, were you appointed chief of the economic section in Region 5? On this matter, I think that uh, there was a misunderstanding. One was uh, the entire sector five, and the other one is uh, the uh, person responsible for the mobile brigades. Uh, for me, I was uh, appointed for the distribution of a rice uh, for the mobile uh, brigades. Uh, that's fine, Mr. Mr. Witness. I have, uh, if that's your recollection. Um, but I was going to show you an excerpt from a document, which is E3 slash 178. Um, it's a document uh, called a weekly, re weekly report of Sector 5 Committee. Um, it is dated 21st of May 1977. English ERN 0034-2708, French 0062-3304, and Khmer 0027-5587. Now, again, Mr. Witness, I realize this is before your time, um, but maybe uh, you heard something about this once you were in function. Uh, it says as follows, uh, it's uh, under the chapter Situation of the Country Defense. Um, by searching and finding the enemy's trick that rice was hidden in Phnom Srok, rice and salt were hidden like in Preya Nitra Preya district, rice was hidden in Tma Pop district, rice was hidden in Sisophon district. Some places one tau, some places half a sack, some places placing in the bamboo made tube hiding in the bamboo bushes. Have you ever heard 
of rice being hidden in uh, these districts. Uh, the time is about a month before Tavar's arrest. But that uh, was at the district level. I had departed uh, from the district, district level. I was attached to the br uh, mobile brigades. But I heard that for half a sack of rice that remained, that was left uh, in the uh, forest, probably these people who fled the areas uh, they intended to bring along with them that I did not know. My last point, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, before you, uh, somebody else testified in this courtroom, and he testified as to uh, the collection of uh, arms uh, for uh, forces in order to, um, as he calls it, crush uh, the revolution. Um, have you ever heard of storage of rice to be used de uh, de by Northwest Zone forces uh, in their rebellion uh, against the Khmer Rouge? Soldats de la zone nord-ouest dans leur insurrection contre les Khmer Rouge. But, can you... No, I never heard no. of that. But uh, to my understanding, uh, if uh, there was such a plan, uh, I might not have known of it because I, at my level, uh, I was not uh, supposed to know that. I understand. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai terminé. The President, uh, thank you. Merci. Now the defense team, uh, now Après the chamber the grants the floor to the defense team for Mr. Kilsenpon to put the questions to the witness. You may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à toutes les personnes thank you, Mr. President. présentes. Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Good morning to everyone here present. Good morning, witness. Je m'appelle Arthur Verken. Je suis un Arthur des avocats de Monsieur Kusampan. Je vais être assez bref dans mes questions. Je crois que mon confrère Kong Samon également. D'abord, une question en forme de remarque un peu insistante, mais. En, en vous lisant et en vous écoutant, je, je dois dire que j'ai été assez surpris de vous voir dire et répéter que vous ignoriez les raisons pour lesquelles vous avez été rétrogradé par Taval. Et pourquoi je me fais cette remarque Je me fais cette remarque parce que nous avons eu beaucoup de personnes qui sont venues à cette barre, qui étaient des personnes ayant travaillé sous le régime Khmer Rouge, et je dirais que presque toutes, lorsqu'elles ont été rétrogradées, savaient pourquoi, notamment parce que sous ce régime, il semble qu'il était d'usage de pratiquer l'autocritique. C'est-à-dire que lorsque l'on prononçait une sanction, on s'attendait à ce que la personne s'améliore en raison de la sanction prononcée. Alors je suis un peu étonné de vous entendre dire que vous ignorez tout des motifs pour lesquels vous avez été rétrogradé par Taval. Tout à l'heure, vous avez ébauché une explication, je crois, en tout cas c'est ce qui a été traduit en français, vous avez dit « J'ai entendu dire qu'on m'avait accusé d'être le fils d'un chef de village. » Je ne vois pas bien en quoi c'est un reproche qu'on aurait pu vous faire. Alors monsieur, je me permets d'insister, êtes-vous vraiment si affirmatif que cela sur votre ignorance des raisons pour lesquelles on vous a rétrogradé. Well, to my understanding, 
uh, at that time, uh, if we were associated uh, or related to the uh, former uh, officials of local regimes, uh, that reason was enough for us to be removed or to be uh, demotivated. But at the time for my demotion, I did not know the reason for sure, but uh, I heard from others that uh, I was alleged to be the son of the commune chief or the deputy commune chief, and then that was uh, that may have been uh, the reasons for my demotion. De de Okay. Ce sera votre réponse. Le deuxième et en fait dernier sujet sur lequel je voudrais vous demander de revenir concerne les enfants. Je dis dernier, vous avez été interrogé là-dessus. Je vais vous relire ce que vous avez déclaré, ce que nous avons donc au transcript du procès. C'était donc le 13 août. Juste après 15 heures, 25 minutes et 28 secondes. Voilà ce qui vous est demandé. Je cite. Au sujet du barrage de trappé y avait-il des enfants Réponse. Oui, il y avait des enfants parce que j'étais responsable de la distribution du riz à l'époque et les rations des enfants étaient moins que celles des adultes. Et en ce qui concerne les quotas de travail, je n'en savais rien. Bien sûr, il y avait des enfants là-bas. Pour la distribution du riz, il y avait... un adulte avait trois boîtes de riz, tandis qu'un enfant n'avait que deux boîtes de riz. Question. Qu'en est-il de la répartition du travail pour les enfants Comment le travail était-il réparti Réponse. C'est assez difficile. Je n'ai pas la réponse exacte. Je pourrais dire qu'ils avaient peut-être un mètre cube ou 1,5 mètre cube de terre à transporter. Exactement, je ne le sais pas. Vous aurez peut-être d'autres témoins qui seront en meilleure position pour vous répondre. Personnellement, j'étais essentiellement responsable de la distribution du riz et je n'ai donc pas surveillé. Je ne surveillais pas le chantier à proprement parler. The work site per se. Fin de citation. End of quote free translation. Donc, ma question est la so suivante, monsieur. D'abord, je voudrais vous dire qu'effectivement, mon confrère Copé vient de parler de ce même témoin qui a comparu juste avant vous. Et ce And monsieur this gentleman, um, a été interrogé was, uh, sur la même question. C'était le 12 août, that was on la veille de votre déclaration August, que je viens de lire. Juste après 9h52 minutes et 5 secondes, question, donc je cite, question, sur ce chantier, on a mobilisé de la main d'œuvre mobile, il y avait des hommes et des femmes, y avait-il aussi des enfants Et s'il y en avait, combien y en avait-il à votre avis Réponse, il n'y avait pas d'enfants dans les unités mobiles. Les enfants avaient été mis dans un seul groupe, ce que l'on appelait le hall des enfants, qui était au village. Il y avait des femmes plus âgées qui s'occupaient des enfants. Women, fin de elderly women who would take care of the children. End of quote. Donc je me permets, monsieur so le témoin, I comme la leave, réponse Mr. que vous avez donnée jeudi dernier sur cette question était un petit peu prudente. Vous avez répété à plusieurs reprises que vous n'étiez pas la personne la mieux placée pour parler du travail des enfants. Je voudrais savoir qu'en est-il exactement, plus précisément, que savez-vous du travail d'enfants sur ce chantier Est-ce que vous êtes en... Est-ce que vous avez vu de jeunes enfants travailler sur ce chantier ou est-ce que... <coughs> Quelle est votre position à ce sujet What can you tell us about this? Answer. Regarding the children who were working at Tropenkmo worksite, they were not actually young children, they were adolescents or teenagers. And uh, I, re I was referring to adolescents. Et j'avais utilisé le terme d'adolescent. Il y a eu un témoin qui a dit que les enfants étaient placés dans un certain village. Et là, je parle des bébés, des jeunes enfants. Ces jeunes enfants étaient placés dans certains villages.
Je vous remercie pour cette précision. Juste pour être complet, pour vous, un adolescent, c'est à partir de quel âge Ce qualificatif, vous l'attribuez à des personnes de quel âge Adolescent. Quand vous dites qu'il y avait des adolescents, c'était à partir de quel âge I think uh, the age range was from 13 to 15 or 16. Je vous remercie pour cette précision. Thank you for this clarification. Well, I have no further questions. Thank you. Council, some on. Good morning, Mr. Witness. My name is Kung Sam On. I do not have many questions to put to you today. I have a review your written written record of interview. E one two seven slash seven point one point six. In relation to. Question and answer number 10. I listened attentively to the question and answers, to your answers uh, last week. You stated that you were a militia man, and then uh, you said uh, perhaps you were a chief of the militia in charge of certain people. Could you tell the court? Clarifier cela et dire à la chambre were you stationed? I mean, at what level were you stationed in relation to your militia unit? Answer: Yes, I can tell you. After the defeat of Lonol Khmer Rouge came into the country. There was no proper structure at that time, and certain peoples were assigned to monitor residents or people in certain areas, and we would follow the assignments after the instruction. And later on, we were assigned to work in different, in different other places. Council, could you tell the court at what level are you work, uh, were you working for? Answer. Answer. I do not know. I did not know at that time. At which uh, village I was uh, working. I was uh, first. I was in the forest, and after I left the forest, I went to stay in a village and I was assigned to be part of a militia and I do I did not know about the structure at the time council in relation to your written record of your interview question and answer 11 The question is, what did you do when you were a militia man and who did you report to? Your answer is that you said you reported to soldier or army at a Sector 5 in Brunet Prea. Could you tell the court about the reporting system? As you mentioned, uh, militia men had to report to Sector 5. President, please uh, wait and observe 5. the microphone, Mr. Winner, before you, you give your answer. Witness. At that time, I uh, did not know clearly about the reporting structure. It was said that uh, we were working in the sector, and I would, uh, said, I would say the same, that uh, I was in a sector five 
during that time, frankly speaking, I did not make any report to any persons, and later on, I was removed from the position, and I stopped working in the militia. Council, thank you. You also stated on the 13 in relation to Ye Chime, and you have just mentioned now that Ye Chime was working at a Pranet Preas committee level. In question and answer number 13, Question et réponse numéro 13. You stated that Ye Chaim came to replace Run at Pranet Prea. In relation to Run, when did Run come de Rune, to work in Pranet Prea? And when did he become Prea, uh, a, a district committee? Est-il devenu comité de district? Answer. I am not quite sure. From my estimation, he came in 1977. And I cannot tell you whether it was in mid-1977 or perhaps it's in a later stage. Council, thank you. I would like to quote your Question and answer number 13 in your document 8127 7.1.6. E after Ta Hung had been arrested, Ta Chil replaced Ta Hung for a few months. And after that, Catre uh, from the southwest zone replaced Ta Chil. Later on, in April or March 1977, 78 rather, I uh, did not know the deputy chief of uh, I did not know the deputy chief. You stated that the uh, Southwest Zone country came to replace Chile in 1977 or 78. Do you still stand by your statement in the document as I mentioned? Answer. I mentioned already that uh, he came in mid or late 1977. Thank you. Avocat, merci. In relation to Ye Time, S'agissant de time. you said earlier that uh, you never met Ye Time in person in the Democratic Cambodia. You became a soldier and worked with Ye Chaim after 1979. Could you tell the court about the time when Ye Chaim came to work in the district committee at Pranet Prea? Answer. I was in a mobile brigade when she became uh, part of the district committee at that time, and I did not know any detail about that. Question, how did you know that Ye Chaim became the district committee at Pranet Prea? How did you know that? Answer. As I told you already, I heard people say in 1977, in mid-1977 or late-1977, uh, that uh, Ye Chaim became the district committee at Pranet Prea. Council, thank you.
Did you know whether Ye Chime have had any work relation at the uh, Tropeng Thomo construction site? Avait un lien quelconque en termes de travail avec le site du chantier de Tropeng Thomo. Ye Chime uh, had nothing to do with uh, the Tropeng Thomo construction Réponse. site. Ye Chime n'avait rien à voir avec le site du chantier de Tropeng Thomo. Council, thank you. Did you know Merci. her roles and positions in, you know, construction at the construction site? Sur le site du chantier. Answer. I do not know Réponse. about the plans that uh, she would have set out uh, for construction site. Council, thank you. I would like to come back to the individual by the name Arena. You stated that uh, you stated that Arena was from the southwest zone. Could you tell the court whether his original birthplace was in uh, the southwest zone? Answer. He was uh, one of the cadres from the southwest zone. Des cadres de la zone sud Council, thank you. Mr. Winnet, Mr. President, I am done with my line of questioning. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé. President, the hearing of this testimony of Mr. Chet Yu comes to an end now. Thank you, Mr. Chet Yu, for spending valuable, valuable time to testify before this chamber as a witness. Your testimony will contribute to the truth before this court. You may now be accused, and you can return to your desired destination. I wish you a good health and good luck. Court officer with Westerf unit, please send um, this witness you to his desired destination. And the chamber will start to hear to TCW to age uh, this afternoon, and uh, the duty council will be with the witness, uh, that is Mr. Deutsch Paris. De Mr. Deutsch Paris, you are also invited to be here once again this afternoon. The chamber would like to inform parties and the public that uh, this afternoon the chamber will hold a swearing in ceremony for one investigator of the OCIJ who has been accredited, accredited by the Ministry of Justice. The swearing in ceremony will be held in the afternoon at 1, a, 1 p.m. Representative from uh, OCP or Co-prosecutors are invited to be in the swearing in ceremony in the afternoon. You are invited to be here before 1 p.m. For other parties, if uh, you are interested in attending the swearing in ceremony as guests, you are welcome. If you are interested to be in uh, the swearing in the afternoon, uh, please uh, arrive at the venue before 1 p.m. And after the swearing in ceremony, Après the chamber the will continue to we we'll start to hear two TCW 8 uh, to 8 perhaps at uh, 1 and 20 p.m. <laughs> Co per uh, security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Q. Sompon to the holding cell downstairs and please have him returned uh, at uh, uh, before 1 a.m. 1.30 in the afternoon.